Welcome to Model Steam Engines and Boilers. This series is a compilation of interesting and useful information when building model steam engines and boilers. This one is part 7. Some tips about navigating YouTube, lagging and painting the steam piping and the compressed air test. The clips that you're about to see are taken from my series Making a Stuart 504 Boiler Plant and if you want to watch the series in its entirety you will find a lot more useful information. Lots and lots of viewers ask me questions and that's a good thing except for when a viewer asks me a question that's already been covered very thoroughly in either a previous episode of the series in question or in another video series on the channel. This is a screen grab of the landing page of my channel and as you can see there is a list across the top that goes home, videos, playlists, community, channels, about and at the right hand side of the list there is a magnifying glass icon. If you click on any of these headings you will be transported to the area that's mentioned in the headings so if you want the playlists you click on playlists. For those of you who are not very computer savvy that will not work by clicking on the video. You have to go to www.youtube.com forward slash Keith Appleton and this web address is on screen at the moment. Alternatively you could visit my main Steam website and the address is always on the bottom of every video. Plus there's a lot of information on the front page of every video. Please be aware that you need to spell the web address correctly. It's not mainstream, it is main Steam because I build, repair, buy and sell Steam engines. And here's the good news and the bad news. Well, the bad news first. I'm having to lag another piece of copper pipe with string. This is the main feed from the turret to the steam engine. So what's the good news? Well, there's no good news. This is making my hand hurt, and it's so tedious I've speeded up the video. And even though I've answered this question on many videos, why am I doing this? Well, it's for thermal insulation, so you don't burn your hand when you touch the hot steam pipe. And the only thing that comes remotely close to good news is the fact that I've now finished the job. I speeded up the video to make it look quicker than it was, but once again, it takes a long time to do. And I almost forgot, oh deep joy, it is almost time to paint the cladding on the pipe. And to paint this pipe cladding, I'm using what's left of a tub of emulsion paint, which I used to paint my bedroom. I painted my bedroom white because it closely resembles the room in the asylum. A happy place where life is wonderful all the time. There's not much I can say about how to paint a piece of pipe that's covered in string with some emulsion paint. It's fairly self-explanatory. I'll give you a tip though. Make sure you have a place to put the pipe after it's been painted so it can dry without sticking to anything. So that's one pipe painted and two more to go. The next one is the big one, the large quarter inch diameter pipe. This, by the way, is a video effect. I have not taken any mind-expanding hallucinogenic drugs. Although painting this pipe took me such a long time, it might have been a good idea. So what can I say about this? Well, the obvious thing to do is to make sure you put plenty of paint on, make sure that the paint soaks into the string. And I do find this emulsion to be the best stuff to use. Don't buy the cheap stuff, though. Get the expensive paint that covers in one coat. I'm really glad this is finished, I've been putting it off for a couple of days. To allow the paint on this piece of pipe to dry, I just clamped one of the union nuts in my lathe chuck. This is the live steam feed pipe that goes from the turret to the injector. This was very small and very easy to paint. This pipe lagging is not so much to keep the heat in, it's to stop you from burning your fingers on the live steam feed pipes from the boiler. That's why not all the pipes have the lagging on them, that would look stupid. Underneath the 504 boiler are a selection of tubes. Most of these are water tubes. Just carry water from the boiler and that gives you a greater surface area to heat the water. But the centre pipe is a superheater. So really the steam comes out of the boiler, passes back through the fire and then back up to the main steam tap on top of the boiler. So the steam coming out of this tap is very hot indeed and you would burn yourself badly if you touched a pipe that was connected immediately to this steam supply. So that's where the pipe lagging comes in. I suppose there is some thermal efficiency involved, but it's very little. It's really to just stop you burning your fingers by touching a pipe that is extremely hot. In this clip, I'm using some emulsion paint on a small brush to just touch in the piping where I missed some bits. This is the main steam feed to the engine from the turret. And once again, this is superheated steam. 
and before any viewers point out, well, the turret's got superheated steam in it, so why aren't you lagging that as well? Well, to be fair, it would look very stupid wrapped in string. A far better idea is to wrap me in string. That way I can touch anything that's hot without getting burnt. Now that is something that I may make a video about. And the series could be called Mummification for Beginners. But seriously, I don't want to wrap everything in string. I do like a little bit of danger in my life, because these days things have got very boring and very politically correct. So I like to live life on the edge. And once again, before any of the anally retentive viewers mention, oh, you've missed a bit of paint there too. Yes, I'm touching it in with a brush. I do like to get things as correct as possible, but sometimes, being a human being, not a machine, I do make mistakes. So here's the steam plant running on compressed air. The belt is turning the pulley, the pulley is turning the countershaft, the countershaft is turning the generator, and it's not over noisy. I'll leave you with the generator running, and it's running quite sweetly. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.